Hello friend, welcome to the channel solution. In today's video, we are going to study about the in silico method in pharmacological experiment. Basically, there are three types of experimental protocol in pharmacology lab. These are in vivo, in vitro and in silico. In vivo and in vitro both involve use of animal. But in case of in silico, there is no such physical use of animal. Instead of animal, we use simulation software that mimic the same procedure as we used to do in case of real animal without sacrificing, without any providing harmful effect to the animal. So let's consider an example of in silico method and that object should be to study the effect of drug on rabbit eye. This is our experiment or this is object of today's experiment so that we can use the simulation software like XForm to understand the concept of drug which are acting over the eyes of rabbit or any other an experimental animal. So for that we are using XForm software and I'm going to explain you the basic interface of this particular simulation software. So this is a basic and useful software so first of all let me explain you the direction in the direction tab you can easily understand or easily study that instill drug one by one and absorb their effect on the rabbit eye tabulate the data and draw the conclusion so we have to select the drug then after we have to install the drug then administer the drug into rabbit eyes one by one that means at a time you can install only a single drug in a single eye of any rabbit but if you want to study the effect of two drugs simultaneously then you have to administer this in the right or left eyes of the rabbit respectively so this was the direction table then then after we are going to see there is a counting of called rabbit one so in the initial phase if you initiate the application or software simulation software you will see that there is a number on rabbit and it is number one because we are going to study the first time of the effect of drug in a rabbit so after that if you select the next or new button the number of rabbit will gradually increase like two three four so on so after that you are going to study the effect of drug on the rabbit eyes so we have to select eyes and next window is the eye sight window there is a two eye of rabbit so first is written as the left eye and the second one is right eye but the size of eyes as well as the pupil are very tiny very small in the size so it is not easy to view it properly that is why this circle is indicated as a large image or we can say zoomed in so that we can easily observe the changes in the pupil size of the rabbit respectively to the left side or as well as the right side so this is the display window of the size of rabbit's eye then after you can easily see this is written as a drug acting here we have not selected any drug so the drug acting is written as a none and the same in case of right eyes there is also no drug has been introduced so the drug acting is none under the this uh, tab you can easily see intraocular tension there is a remark up to low that is abbreviated as l and h and stand for normal h stand for high so we have not included any drug so this is the uh, intraocular tension is normal no next tab is drug selection tab here you can see there is an option of drug and if you click this downside arrow you will find other drug are listed under this table these are epinephrine atropine ephedrine physostigmine lignocaine and at the last serine so you need to select one drug at a time to introduce a drug into one eye of the rabbit so then after you will see the option of instill drug that means you have to select a drug then after you have to instill the drug then after you have to select the right or left eye of the rabbit i will show you after some time so coming to the next tab this is a tool tabs that means you will have option of applying the light of torch or cotton wool over the eyes of rabbit any eyes of the rabbit so what is the function of this let me explain you this is the based on reflux action suppose you are going to open your eyes in the place where the light is so much bright then you will feel a little bit comfortable but in case of those place who is having lots of darkness there is no such light inside the room then you need to open your eye as much as possible so that the light or whatever amount of light is present inside the room can enter into the eyes and you can easily observe the object as compared to those condition where your eye size is so small that means pupil size is so small so that is irritation purpose or that is to just check the reflex action of the eye let me explain you with the help of diagrammatic representation over here so i am going to select the torch option as you can see the i have selected the torch and my mouse cursor converted into a torch so whenever i apply the torch from the behind of the rabbit eye it start uh, it start refluxing action that means now the right uh, now the rabbit eye is starting to reduce in the size that means meiosis effect is going on 
that means just to protect the eye from the over light and the same we can do it for the right eyes and right eyes also responding that means both eyes are in the actual or reflex action conditions then after there is another option of called cotton wool so if you click the cotton wool the mouse will be converted into cotton wool that is also used to check the reflex it is able to change the reflex or not is it opening or closing their uh, opening or closing of eyes or not we can see it easily by applying the cotton wool over the eyes of rabbit so this was two basic tool which are used to uh, study the reflex action and this will be helpful in case of local anesthetic at the last we will see the spectrum too so let's come to the next tab that is exit tab so let me click the new window if you click the new window the number of rabbit will be changed see there is a rabbit number one but once i click the new the rabbit counting will be changed into rabbit number two so there is a table there is next and there is return if you want to go back you have to click the return button and if you want to go the question answer section then you will click then you have to click the next button otherwise let's start the procedure by selecting one drug at a time so now i am going to select a drug for that i have clicked this down arrow button the first drug is epinephrine i am selecting the epinephrine now you need, you need to install the drug in the dropper so this is the install of the drug now this is asking in which eye you want to install left eye or right eye for right now i am going to select left eye and just after the clicking the left eye the drug is installed in the dropper and once i have placed the drug inside the eyes of rabbit you can see the changes of diameter of the pupil the initial one was like this the right eye uh, like like a right eye which is a normal condition but after placing the epinephrine the diameter of pupil get increased that means there is called a mydriasis effect so this is the effect of epinephrine so let me change the another drug for that i'm going to use right eye and for next drug is atropine so see this is the right eye and it is normal in condition once i have selected atropine i need to click on the install drug button then i have to select the right eyes because already the drug is acting on left eye so after clicking the right eye just go to the cursor in the right eye and yes you can see this changes in the right eye diameter also so that drug that means atropine is also having madrasis effect and in case of mydiasis but you can see the changes in the diameter of pupil but intraocular pressure is not changeable that means it is still in normal condition then after i am going to select a new drug but remember one thing if you have already installed a drug into the eyes the new drug will not give you any action so that is remark is called change the drug or change the rabbit number to get the effect of drug let me show you how it look like i am selecting epinephrine Instilling the drug and selecting the left eye, but there is a pop-up that's called already drug are acting on the both eye. Choose a new rabbit. So it is giving instruction what to do next. So you need not to worry about the procedure. It will explain you each and every step one by one. So what I have to do is select the new. After selecting a new rabbit, the rabbit count is increased up to rabbit three. Now you have to do the process same as previous one. Now I am going to select epinephrine, install the drug, select the left eye, and once you install the drug onto left eye, the size of pupil will change, and that is also called mydriasis. But still, in case of epinephrine, intraocular pressure is normal. Then after I have to select the next one, that is physostigmine. Select the physostigmine drug, install the drug. Now select the right eyes because the drug is acting already over the left eye. Selected right eyes. place the drug over the right eye and you can see there is changes in the intraocular pressure as well as the pupil size that is called meiosis because there is a size size reduction and that this is called meiosis but you can easily see the intraocular tension get also reduced towards the normal size to the lower side that is changes in the intraocular pressure too so this is the same basic experiment we can do with each other uh, with each each drug available in the tab or simulation software then next drug is lignocaine but still we have introduced all the drug in the both eyes so we need to select another one that is new rabbit select the new button once you select the new button rabbit count will increase now select the next drug that is uh, physostigmine install the drug select the left eye or right eye whatever you want in which you want to introduce the drug so in case of physostigmine there is a changes in the diameter of pupil that is meiosis and intraocular pressure get down that's the lower side then select the next drug that is lignocaine which is example of local anesthetic now install the drug and select the right eyes once you install the drug into right side there is no change in the diameter of pupil and there is no change in intraocular tension because this is a local anesthetic but one more, more one more thing i would like to express with the help of representation that it is a example of local anesthetic lignocaine is example of local anesthetic so there is no sensation no moving of the diameter if you apply the lignocaine but 
when we apply the torch that is a reflux torch it will start refluxing that means it is refluxing right is refluxing action showing still but when they click the cotton wool let me click the cotton wool there is no response in their eyes of rabbit that means local anesthetic is acting because there is no sensation over the uh, eye side so this is not showing any action now let's come to the next rabbit that is new rabbit I have to select the new rabbit and there is a one more last drug that is saline. Saline means nothing but a simple saline and it is having no many medicament over it. So this will not produce any effect. Selecting the saline drug, instill the drug and introduce the drug into left eyes. There see there is no changes in the diameter of the rabbit eye and even though there is no change in the intraocular tension. That means the saline is not having any medicament and not having any pharmacological action over the rabbit eyes. This was a simple explanation regarding the in silico method and the object was to study the effect of drug over the rabbit eyes. Thank you so much for watching this video. This video is also available in Hindi. So if you want to see the videos in Hindi explanation, you can click the description box and you will easily find the link of Hindi videos. Thank you. Take care.